Radio One. Music explosion. Do you remember the things that I'm on teach you about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You remember them? Yes, sir. This is who? The Obi The Obi man. And this is what? And who is this one? Brother Chikoja. All right. And this is who? Bernice and right and Chikoja. All right. So everybody is well aware of that. Yes, sir. This is ZQI. Here now is the midday news. The Jamaica Council of Churches has called on the Christian and Jewish communities in Jamaica to observe tomorrow and Sunday as national days of prayer for a peaceful election. In a news release, the JCC noted that the past months have seen an unprecedented increase in political and criminal violence. The JCC has also urged that from tomorrow until election day, the nation should unite in prayer for the welfare of its people. To this end, the council has asked pastors to make their church buildings available. The government has declared a state of emergency. In a statement from headquarters house this afternoon, the prime minister, Mr. Straker, said the state of emergency was declared on the basis of evidence recovered from the plane crash in the Halsher Swamp. The prime minister said a quantity of arms was found and certain documents which link the opposition in what appears to be a plot by the CIA to disrupt the elections. The statement said several members of the opposition had been placed under house arrest, including the secretary, Mr. Dill who in recent months has been very critical of the government's fiscal policies. The body of an unidentified woman was found bound and gagged in an abandoned building in the city's west end yesterday. The police suspect that the woman is the latest victim in a spate of killings since the clash of rival political factions in the area. A runaway cow did considerable damage on the high street of Millertown at noon today. Eyewitness reports said the cow rushed hecklers on the sidewalk, overturning and trampling a large quantity of their goods. A store window was also destroyed. Three cows. Jawan, <laughs> they don't really free to death. Death is a force of nature, Ja. Just like lightning. The righteous face it every day and pass it by. But those with evil in their hearts fear it. That is why there's no need to slay the wicked. Just lead them to face death and they will perish. <laughs> Elja, what are you teaching the youth them today? Not my teachings, Ja, but those of the higher force. 